hi guys welcome to day 18 so happy to be here um you know today i just want to say thank you to everybody who has reached out everybody who has said uh, some kind and encouraging words and this has not been easy i know is i've done the last 17 videos i really don't know how and i just thank the lord because i'm gonna let you in for a secret i'm a very closed person like those who know me very well they think i talk too much which i really do i talk too much i'm loud and and i'm i'm very much of an open book to them because it's i have an attachment issue and that's a topic for another day and so once i'm attached to someone once i know someone very well and that person also knew me so well i have a tendency of just being entirely open like i'm just an open book anything that comes out of my mouth it just has no food it just comes out and and i'm just talk um and but then for those who do not know me they'll think i'm an extremely quiet person like i don't talk and i don't share and all that so i've been struggling to do this uh like i've been praying so much lord how you put something on my heart and i have no clue how to do it because I, I just don't talk randomly and just seeing how people are saying oh thank you for saying this oh I actually been going through this and you've already said that and that kind of helped me I'm so grateful for that that whatever my uncomfortable uncomfortableness of doing this it kind of is making a difference to someone we give glory to God for that and I just want I want to ask you guys to just keep on praying for me, you know, for more courage, more strength to be more open about where the Lord has been leading me, what the Lord is doing in my life, especially in this journey of day to day, where the Lord has taken me throughout the day until the end of the day. So I'm so grateful. So my topic for today, I love topics. Uh, it's going to be, it's okay not to be okay. We live in a such a world where everything is well filtered, like we create a facade, we create a wall so that the people can see this perfect imagery of ourselves. And it's something that nearly everybody, like everybody goes through this. We have a certain picture we have to put up on for ourselves. Like I said, sometimes, like personally, like i was saying i talk too much but at the same time it depends whom because i'm very reserved if i don't know someone but if i know someone i'm very much of an open book so how to differ to make a difference from that being a facade or being your just your normal character and a lot of us kind of end up staying in a boxed out character and we create a new world in that character and it destroys our soul because what god wants is a true image of ourselves. i like what father joseph said today uh he in the beginning during the rose right i don't know if you guys tuned in today you need to um he quoted i think it was colossians 4 12 i'm gonna paraphrase this because i don't remember exactly what the scripture says but it was colossians 4 12 i think yeah and it was talking about how you know let me just find it okay okay sorry for that long pause actually i'm still wrong on that as well colossians 3 12 Oh God, I found it. <laughs> so it says, it's 3.12, Colossians 3.12. It says, As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Instead of ourselves creating this new world so that the whole world can see the perfect of us, I think we should clothe ourselves instead of beautifying ourselves 
we should beautify our own hearts, our inner selves with kindness. With kindness, compassion, humility. We need that those are the beauty which we should be a reflection of us. But it feels like in this world we are expected to be perfect. People want to see the perfect us. The whole world wants to see the perfect us. This is why with a lot of youth, they struggle with the trend. They need to fit in in school. They need to fit in, you know, like all this influential life that comes up, you know. Instead of having role modeling in spiritual life and to have spiritual guidance and all that, to be spiritual guiders to other people, like for Christ to reflect out of our lives, we kind of end up becoming... Um, influencer like you know how these people they're kind of um you you have a certain image you set out for people so that they can follow you but our job and our role on this earth is to redirect people to god we should be role modeling those who need to learn how to be compassionate towards others or themselves those who need to learn how to be caring toward the others or themselves it could be anything but so we need to find a way in our lives on how to rephrase how this world is giving us. Because I know if you look in the Old Testament, especially in the, uh, in the book of Leviticus, you know, it talks a lot about whether you serve God or you serve the world. Like you, there is no gray area. You serve God with all your heart or you don't. You serve the false cause. You, it's either black or white. There is no gray area. And this is the place where a lot of us are lost because even when we are not okay within ourselves, we try to be okay. If I'm not okay, I'm crying and I'm having a bad day and all that. My Instagram is going to say otherwise. My Facebook is going to say otherwise. My Any part of any platform of my social media is going to be showing that everything is perfect, picture perfect. Everything is beautiful. You know, I'm well made. I'm having my life. I'm living my life beautifully and things like that, which is how we are not mending one another. We are not building each other spiritually because we have a generation rising with trying to be a perfect version of somebody else or something else portraying something else that the lord did not choose us to be you know the scripture talks about being one unity in one body of christ for for the church to have the body of christ we need a leg we need the hair we need the feet we need this and if we are all becoming one how do we become that one body of Christ together. So we are all set apart for a different so that we can mold each other, we can build each other, and we can also carry each other. So sometimes when you're not okay, it definitely is okay not to be okay. Um, I think recently I've been talking to uh, some of my friends, you know, uh, I've got sisters in prayers, um, those people I've, I've grown up in spiritually with, and we have this openness of just telling each other where we are with our feelings what are what's going on wrong in my life and that openness i realize is it does not just help me it also helps them in our sharing of we share even our brokenness our joys our sorrows everything and it, within that sharing there is this new transformation like at the end of the conversation or whatever sharing we're having in both ways, we end up in the place where we're like, thank you. You know, I didn't know I'm, I was going to receive this message, but it's exactly what I needed to hear. I needed someone to be genuine with me. We need to learn how to be genuine with ourselves, brothers and sisters. Because in this world, we live in a world which is entirely broken. We live in a world that does not know how to live in a perfect figure of Christ. And to live in a being God has set us apart. He has chosen us as individual before we are formed in our mother's womb. So why is it okay for me to pretend to be something else? If I am broken, be like David. If I'm not okay, I'm not okay. I'm going to tell the Lord, I can't do this. Look at how my enemy is doing this to me. I'm being taunted. I'm being hunted. I'm going through this agony. Father, I've done wrong. I've done this. You know, that entire openness with the lord if we are open within our souls god can come and help us if we are not okay let's just go to the holy throne of god and tell him 
I am not okay, Lord, but you can mend me. 